What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. So today what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about how to approach a woman the right way. Because let's be real, 99.9% .9 of the male population does not know how to approach in the right way. Usually when they do it, they kind of creep the girl out, um, make her feel uncomfortable, and then they feel bad about it, or they're just so nervous and in their head that they just don't know what to do and they end up not doing anything. I demonstrate how to do this. You can actually see footage of me doing this uh, in the Practical Approaching System, which I released uh, a few months ago. And I'm gonna be re-releasing right now. So if you want some like, it has like in-field footage of me doing it. I'm talking to a bunch of girls on the beach, uh, like models and you know different people. So uh, if you wanted access to that, there's gonna be a link in the description box below. Unfortunately, I can't show that stuff on YouTube. All right, so let's talk about the first part of approaching women. So you're probably pretty nervous at this time if you're walking outside and maybe you see somebody at a coffee shop or a bookstore or you know, um, at a bar or whatever, okay? You're probably a little bit nervous at first. That's okay, it's normal to be nervous. Here's the other thing too. She's gonna be nervous about you as well. The thing about men is that we're typically bigger than women. So the biggest thing that you have to deal with at the beginning is that little bit of fear that's gonna be there. Um, and for some women, it's gonna be a lot of fear. So I wouldn't recommend approaching in these ways. A lot of times guys will come in face to face, they'll be like that. That usually freaks people out. You feel like you're gonna fight them. I wouldn't approach people from behind because it makes them feel like you're stalking a prey. You don't wanna be a stalker. You don't wanna be a creep. The best way, in my opinion, is to kind of come in from the side, okay? So if I see a girl leaning against the wall, standing somewhere, I'll kind of come in with her shoulders this way. Like, let's say she's here, I'll come in like this. I kind of want to be at the same level as her, you know? If you face up to somebody a little bit too soon, sometimes that freaks them out. So like, if she's leaning against the wall, I'll come in and lean against the wall too, and I'll talk to her like that. That is gonna be a lot more comfortable for her than if somebody walks in. Because at first, even if you're attractive, even if she likes you, doesn't matter. Her survival comes first and then she's gonna put herself in fight or fl uh, flight or fight mode. Um, and then she's not gonna be in the mode of, hey, do I like this guy or not? Which is where you wanna get her to. Okay, so I usually like to come in from the side. Now, if you've been talking for a little bit, I'll usually say, hey, what's up? My name's Lloyd. Or like, I'll talk to her. Maybe I notice something about her. Maybe I'll ask her something about her. If you're looking for like a list of what things to say or openers, I have other videos. I also cover it in the practical approaching system. But typically, it's gonna be something that I've observed. Okay, and then I can kind of ask her where she's from or you know what she's up to. And I'll tell her what I'm up to and where I'm from. Then as we've been talking for a little bit and she gets more comfortable with me, then I can start to move up square, kind of square up with her a little bit. So that would be like kind of like rotating my body so we're kind of more face to face and we can make better eye contact. But at first, I'm gonna give her her space. Okay, especially, like you'll see in the practical approaching system where I'm talking to girls on the beach, like I don't get really close to them at the beginning. A lot of times they're in a bikini, they feel exposed. You want to keep your distance a little bit at first. And the other thing that you want to do is you don't want to like, for lack of a better term, you don't want to bitch out, okay? You want to go in 100%, dude. Speak with a reasonable volume. Speak like I'm speaking right now. That's totally fine. The more confident you sound, the more authoritative you sound, and you don't want to be barking orders at them right away, like that'll probably scare people off too, but you know, calm, relaxed, but also assertive. That is gonna get them to relax more. Typically the guys that they're worried about, the guys that creep them out, are the guys that look like they're up to something. The guys that are awkward. The guys that are like, well, you can even pull off awkward too, but like in the right way. Just in general, if you're hesitant, if you're insecure about what you're doing, you feel bad about it, those are the guys that they're worried about. If you feel confident, like, hey, I know when I walk up, like. This girl's gonna have a fun time talking to me. And I, my job, my goal, is to make sure that when I leave her, she's leaving with a little bit more happiness than when I found her. So whatever happens, even if she doesn't like me, I can still end with a high five, I can still make her smile or make her giggle or something like that. I'm 100% confident that I'm going to be able to do that. So go in with 100%. Don't uh, hesitate or do that sort of stuff. If you're gonna do it, do it. If you're gonna mess up, mess up with 100%. That, I would much rather see that than a guy who's like insecure about what he's gonna do. So big thing that this is gonna take some courage. Now, if you wanna know how to build up that courage, that's something else that I talk about in the practical approaching system and in, you know, so there's some other videos on my channel where I talk about that too. 
Okay, so if you've walked in, you kind of come in from the side a little bit, you've waited till she's kind of comfortable with you, then you can kind of square up and come a little closer to her. Then after that, you're talking to her. Then that's the time where, you know, you feel free to be, you know, yourself, you know, be present to the moment, give her the respect that she deserves. And then I would talk for her for, you know, as long as you can, as long as she'll let you. If you feel like she's got to go, let her go. That's totally okay. But I like to, the longer you talk to somebody, typically the better connection uh, that you can make with them. Okay, so if you're in this position, you guys, I've done this so many times. In fact, you'll see during the practical approaching system, there was uh, two models that I started talking to on the beach. You know, they're both in their swimsuits. Um, and I walked up and I started talking to them and they liked me so much, they actually ended up coming back to my hotel room and hanging out later, okay? This is not something that is impossible for other people to do. It's very, very easy if you know what you're doing, but it does take practice. It does take a little bit of confidence. It does take you, know, you stepping outside of your comfort zone a little bit. But the five guys, and, and they did tell me this was true, there was like five or six guys that had walked up and started talking to them um, before they'd, you know, guy walked up to them and was like, hey, can I hang out with you guys? And like, you know, taking value and all this stuff. Like you wanna, you wanna kind of come in at their energy and a little bit higher and bring value. That doesn't work, okay? And, but it worked for me because I went by the process that I'm telling you guys. So again, if you want to see footage of that, it's, it's gonna be there, but that's basically how to do it. Um, so hopefully from seeing this video, you got an idea about exactly how to walk up and approach women and do this in the right way. Um, and if you get good at this, it's almost like having a superpower, like literally the world is someone that you can open, walk up and have a conversation with and see if you guys connect. Like it's really powerful and really amazing. And in the future, I hope people become more confident and more respectful that we can start doing that more and more, um, especially when all this, uh, you know, lockdown stuff ends. So thanks for watching. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week, and good luck out there, you guys.